Hello all, warm greetings. Let us go into the world of history by starting the first chapter, India in the medieval period. The history of India is divided into three different periods. Ancient, medieval and modern. Ancient India from the earliest time till 8th century Medieval period is divided into two segments, early medieval India, that is a span is from 8th century till 12th century, the later medieval period, that is from 13th century till 18th century, and the modern India is from 18th century till present times. In this chapter, we will be talking about medieval period. The word medieval comes from the Latin word Middle Ages. In order to make it easier, the division historians wanted to break the study of history into eras based on the events they think caused major culture shifts. Now on the timeline, as you can see, that medieval period is divided into early and later medieval period. Early medieval period spans from 8th to 12th century and later is from 13th to 18th century. Let me also share with you that in the early medieval period during which the Palas, Pratiharas, Rashtkutas, Cholas and Rajputs were dominant forces, in the later medieval period it starts with the establishment of the Delhi Sultanate and extends till the reign of the Mughals. Now the question arises that how India got its name. Since we are talking about the medieval period in India, so it's very important to know that how India got its name. The name Bharat is derived from the name of Bharata, the son of Dushyan, a legendary ruler mentioned in the Mahabharata. The name India is derived from the river Indus, the valleys around which were the home of early settlers. The Aryan worshippers referred to the river Indus as the Sindhu. The Persian invaders converted it into Hindu. The name Hindustan combines Sindhu and Hindu and thus ref to the land of Hindus. Let us go to the point where we have to talk about it. How do we find the different sources of medieval period? The sources of the medieval period can be divided into literary and archaeological sources. Literary sources are divided further into three categories, religious, secular and foreign accounts. Literary sources inform us about political, social, economic, religious and cultural life of our ancestors. It includes manuscripts, coins, historical accounts by scholars written on the paper, historical accounts by foreign travelers, literary accounts and so on. We have a detailed explanation about the literary sources. In the medieval period, there are plenty of written records and that can be divided into the certain categories, the official records, contemporary write accounts of foreign travelers, coins and inscriptions. Here we have the example of literary sources. Here we have the books, the coins, the writings on the various material. 
Now let us talk about that the literature during the medieval period. During the medieval period in India, all across we had so much of writings were written and the writers were Kalhana, Amir Khusro, Abul Fazl, Babur and so many. So in the, on this slide you can have a good view of the writers and their creation the literature during the medieval period. Now let us move on to the next important source of the medieval period is archaeological source. Archaeological source, the name suggests it includes buildings, houses, potteries, coins, monuments, writing and paintings on stones or walls, tools, artifacts, and so on. So let us find out that what are the advantages or the benefits of these archaeological sources. Archaeological sources are the primary form of sources which help us to find the evidence and information about the ancient past. Through archaeological sources, our historians have found out that how highly sophisticated and developed civilization flourished in our country through Harappan and Mohenjo-daro sites. They have also provided historical evidence to epics like Mahabharata. Several other monuments have also been discovered with the help of archaeologists. We have the examples in front of you that is archaeological sources like buildings, temples, relics, artifacts and so on. Let us recap what we have started in this module. In this module of India in the medieval period, we have started about the history of India can be divided into three different periods, ancient, medieval and modern. Early medieval period and late medieval period the changing names of India, that how India has got its different names and why. The sources of the medieval period, literary sources and archaeological sources. And we have also discussed about the important medieval literature. In this module, we have the assignment to the first question says, Name the sources of medieval India. What is the difference between literary and archaeological sources? Who wrote Akbar Nama? Why was India known as Bharat? How did it come to be known as Hindustan? Give some examples of archaeological sources and how are they beneficial in the reconstruction of social culture and political history of medieval India. With this, we come to an end of this module. Thank you. And in the next session, we are going to talk about the emergence of social and political groups and economic changes in the medieval period. Have a good day.